Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Coming up on the HTV News Show, we have information on Kindness Week, Apple Computer's 40th anniversary, and rain. All this and much, much more coming up on this Monday, January 22nd, 2024, Gold Day edition of the HTV News Show. The news starts now. Good morning, Crocker. I'm Matt. And I'm Natalia. I hope you had a good weekend, Vikings. Let's go over to our top story. Hey, Crocker. This week is Kindness Week. You'll be watching many kindness-related videos throughout the week. During Kindness Week, we will be doing kindness-related activities every day, all around the school. Have a wonderful Kindness Week, Crocker. The Apple Macintosh computer turns 40, 40 years old this month. The Apple company was founded in 1976, and in 1984, they released a computer that would be the first successful all-in-one desktop computer with a GUI, built-in screen, and one-button mouse. They called it the Macintosh after the name of a favorite Apple. The computer cost $2,495 at the time and was a lot cheaper than other personal computers, but it was still a considerable amount of money back then. Even so, it became very popular, selling over 70,000 units in just three months. The Macintosh is still around today, and Apple has since become the world's largest company. Today is day 10 of Kindness Month, Crocker, so get excited. The video for today suggests writing poems for people who are important in your life. Here's the clip. Day 10. We're a third of the way there, and we're practicing more kindness towards that best friend. In fact, I want you to write two haikus. If you don't know what a haiku is, it's five syllables followed by seven syllables followed by five syllables. I want you to write the first one about the person themselves. The second one, I want you to write about your friendship. Text it to them or write them down on a card and send it to them however you can. Deliver them some poetry positivity. Hi, I'm Evelyn. And I'm Connor. And we're here with your Ticket Trip to Leadership announcements. This week is Kindness Week and Thursday is the Rochambeau Contest. Friday is Twin Day, as well as a class competition, which is Penny Wars. Bye. Bye. Inauguration Day takes place every four years on January 20th and will happen yet again next year. American citizens gather in Washington, D.C. to observe the inauguration as the vice president-elect and the president-elect are sworn into, the, into power by taking the oath of office. This day marks the beginning of the new four-year term of the president of the United States. It is often commemorated by parades and other festivities. On this Friday, January 26th, there will be a Pennyware where the grade that brings the most coins will win. Also, there will be a spirit day called Twin Day, where you and a friend dress up the same. You will have to send a picture of you and your twin. Make sure to participate for the class competition points, Crocker. I'm Logan with the birthdays for today. Wish a happy birthday to Arjun, and make sure to celebrate this special day and wish him a happy birthday when you see them. Hey Crocker, just a reminder that the veteran jacket donations start this week. The donation bins will be located in front of Ms. Slater's office and in front of the NPR. Bring in jackets, blankets, and sweaters for veterans in need. All the Crocker donations will be going to a veteran shelter based in Los Angeles. Hi, I'm Wells with the weather report. Today will have a high of 61 and a low of 52 with a 90% chance of rain. There could be a thunderstorm between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. The rest of the week looks to be rainy, so keep those rain jackets handy, Crocker. The rain is here. There will be rainy days from now till Wednesday. Please walk under the eaves. Do not leave your backpack or Chromebooks out in the open. If it is raining during recess, you can go in the library, the lecture hall, the band room, makerspace, NPR, all of these during lunch. Oasis is also available during lunch recess. Other option is the gym for intramurals. I'm Adrian with the intramurals. There are no intramurals today, but intramurals will be tomorrow, Tuesday, the 23rd. We will have the Pioneers versus the Outlaws and the Scots versus the Guardians. Since all grade levels are playing, make sure to remember what teams you're on. Have fun, Vikings. Next Friday, February 2nd, there is going to be yet another open mic. Check your email for the sign-up form sent to you by Mr. Hager. We look forward to seeing all of the wonderful performances. We are looking for performances that feature singing, instruments, comedy, or magic. Sign up today and check your email. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed the show. Bye. Bye.